everyone, it's Melissa, and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. It has been far too long since I've had the opportunity to upload a video for you guys, and I apologize, I've missed you like crazy. So today I have a huge $175 haul with items purchased from the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. So we're gonna start with everything I got at the Dollar Tree. I found two of these red burlap ornaments. That first one was a stocking, and this one is a snowflake. I love these mitten ornaments. These were new this year. I picked up two of these red ones with the little bells and the bows. I also loved this top hat. It is red plaid and then it has the burlap rim on the bottom. And these were also new this year, these lantern ornaments. I picked up a white one, and I also picked up the black as well. If you guys can't tell, this is a red rustic Christmas haul. Usually I stick to neutrals, but there was way too many cute red stuff this year. You guys will see, especially in the 99 cent store coming up, but oh my gosh. So um, those were also glittered Merry Christmas ornaments. And then we're gonna move on to some of these clear ornaments. This was a new design this year. It's a almost like a little mini mace jar and you can customize these you can put something inside or glue it to the bottom that way it can stand up when you um, screw the bottom back in there but I thought those were really neat so I got three of those I picked up two packs of the smaller bulbs you get two to a pack and then three of these larger DIY ornaments and then these were also new these ornament ball markers I got a white one and a silver one so very cool new things this year from the Dollar Tree. And then uh, these red candy canes, I just picked up two packs. I picked up some of these red and gold um, decorative bells. I believe you get 16. I picked up a pack of nine large red bells as well. And then these are like a tin, which is really neat. And um, these are just the poinsettias. And for some craft items, I found uh, this red plaid ribbon, and it has the gold wired edge. You get nine feet. And then I picked up a red glittered ribbon as well. And then I also got this mistletoe. Of course, it's not real, but I thought of a really cute DIY for this. If I have the time, I would love to share that with you guys. And then um, just two of these red glitter bows. Christmas cards. They had really cute ones. I like this plaid with the deer and it says wishing you a very merry holiday season. This pack of Christmas cards, you get 12 to a pack, says have yourself a merry little Christmas and it has like the wood background. Very cute. And it says and a joy filled new year on the inside. And then I loved this card. It says believe in the wreath and it has Santa coming down the chimney and on the inside it says um, wishing you a joyous holiday season. I think that's what it said. <laughs> um, and now we're going to move on to some of these tin containers so I picked up three that have this saying believe in the magic of Christmas I wanted to take the tops off of those and try a DIY and then um, this really nice rectangular plaid tin it has the bow already attached at the top which was really neat and then I picked up the large sign it says believe in the magic of Christmas and I also um, uh, if you, uh, another theme for this haul, you guys, is is the believe. You'll see that coming up. But um, I also found this uh, reindeer treat sign. So cute. The reindeer is actually a little bit too yellow for me. So I want to actually uh, make the reindeer like a brown glitter and then put this in like a brown frame. Um, so I'd love to do that. And then we're going to move on to some of the Christmas packaging. I got this adorable mailbox, and um, this is just so cute on so many levels. It has the stamps, and it says um, airmail, uh, Santa approved. It has the little handle that can go up and down. It says Santa Claus, Santa's Workshop, North Pole. So very cute to give a gift, or I am planning on just using that for decoration. And then I picked up a box of these gift boxes. It has the numbers of the days for Christmas. And these were just the cutest little mini gift bags. The first one says, we believe in Santa. <laughs> I'm going to go on to the next one because <laughs> this is my favorite. This one says, um, December 25th, for one night only, Santa Claus is coming to town. So cute. And then I love this one too. It says cut your own Christmas trees, free hot chocolate. I would love to put some of these into uh, some brown frames or you can even um, cut them and use the frames and make your own ornaments out of these. And this one says have yourself a merry little Christmas. This one is also adorable with the plaid deer. 
and this one says it's the most wonderful time of the year it's almost a little bit metallic but it has the plaid background and this one says season's greetings with the plaid deer so all of these little mini envelopes are so cute and you get three to a pack um really great for you know giving little gift cards or little items and then uh these christmas trees i picked up two of these they're 18 inches high they do have the base my idea was to combine two of these because they're not very full but i don't know if that'll work out i might have to save that for next year we'll see and then uh, this Santa bucket was so cute. It's very rustic and it's just, you know, the Santa outfit with some little holly on there. So very cute. And then these ornaments were uh, beautiful. They uh, are just little candle holders, but they're in the shape of an ornament with the gold top. I picked up four of these apple cinnamon candles. They smell divine. <laughs> and then um, this wreath uh, form of a candy cane. I really loved that this was different from your regular kind of wreath forms. And then this is totally random, This he these headband Santas, but I wanted to do a DIY with the little Santa heads. And then I picked up these 12 mini bows. You get some red and green. And then I loved this LED solar stake light. It says Santa stop here with the candy cane base. And moving on to some of the flowers, I picked up um, how many packs of these? I think three or four of these velvet red poinsettias, and some of them do have the gold glitter on the tips. And I always get the velvet ones um, when it comes to the florals uh, for Christmas. And then I just picked up, um, I think, two or three of those kind of red bushes. And then these are just plaid kitchen towels. I picked up two red ones. And these mugs are so cute. I love this. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And then this one's my favorite. It says, get your jingle on. So I thought those were too cute to pass up. And then um, they had these to-go cups, which is really neat. You get two to a pack. It does have the top. They're plastic, so you can reuse them. And they just say take it to go. Something like this would be really cute for decorating your bar cart with, you know, if you do like a hot cocoa station. And then, of course, um, these tins, these like copper tins were just screaming to me like rustic Christmas. So I got four of those um, for a table setting. And then you guys know me. I love my chargers. And I got red ones this time. Um, they just have the red beading around the outside. And then some regular ornaments. Um, some of these cherry red, you can see some are um, just kind of like a satin finish and some do have glitter. And I picked up some of these larger packs where you get 12 to a pack and these were so cute i got two packs of these so 10 total but it has the santa belt okay so now we're moving into the 99 cent store items and i picked up this sleigh with the plaid bow i also picked up this bottle that um, looks like a diy but is already made very cute with the snow in there and then I love this plaid Santa boot, and the detail on this is so cute with all of the detail. I mean, even the twine around the bottom. I picked up this ornament pillow with the deer. I love these little red trucks that have the Christmas tree. Um, it has like the little flocked Christmas trees. And then look at these critters. Oh my god, these woodland animals were just to die for I fell in love these animals were the reason I decided to go with the red rustic Christmas this year because I had to have them so the first one was a fox um the second one I'm I, a badger I don't really know what exactly he is but then an owl and then this bird is so cute with the black scarf and then these were just kind of um I don't know, like sheepskin kind of balls. And then these ornaments were really cool. These are like a mason jar lid, but it has the cork in the background. So they had all these different kinds. Um, I picked up one of each. You can see um, all of the different uh, options here. Also, these look like they were a DIY, but awesome when you can buy it already made. And then I picked up two of these beaded garlands. These actually were the closest looking to like wood beads. They definitely don't look plastic. So I got two of those. And then I got this little Santa head with the hat. I got this gnome Santa. He's got the tall hat going on and the felt beard. This Santa has 
um, more of a design on his hat and it actually has a little jingle bell at the bottom and then look at these red boots oh my gosh I love those and then I also got just some of these uh, larger Christmas light ornaments I got the red and the white and these reflect beautifully with um, Christmas lights and then these little elf shoes were too cute not to get two. I got a, a pair of the red and the green and they have the stripes along the top. And then I picked up some of these trees. This just says tabletop decor. I got a larger one, two smaller ones. And then this is just a super cute Santa in a truck <laughs> with a tree <laughs> and a wreath on the front because it's cute. <laughs> and um, then I got these light bulb ones that also look like they were already a DIY and they have the berries and the twigs inside. And then I picked up this kind of uh, reindeer headband, four of these mini socks also to go on the Christmas tree, and then this floral pick with the red and the burlap and then also has the white with kind of shimmery white um, leaves as well. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure you call this red and black buffalo check, but just for the sake of talking fast through this video, I'm just calling it plaid. So, um, and then this was so cool, you guys. Okay, so look at this Santa hat, right? It, it, you put it on upside down. So when you wear it, the top of your head, you have the little Santa feet <laughs> flopping around. Um, so I wanted to do a DIY with that. But then I also found these headbands. They're just the little Santa hats at the top. And then I thought this would be a really cool um, Christmas tree topper. This is just the uh, plaid kind of um, Santa hat to use as a Christmas tree topper um, for all my little plaid ornaments. And then these boxes were really, really cute too. I picked up um, two of the larger plaid. And then um, my idea was to hot glue these and stack them and just use them as a home decor item. And then these sleighs, this one says Merry Christmas. It has the uh, red car and the tree. This one says, baby, it's cold outside. And it's like the whitewash uh, kind of background. And they have the wired hangers at the top. And then I also um, bought two of these packs of mini pine cones. They just have like the white kind of snow on them. And then um, these wooden boxes, you can stand these up or hang them, but this one says this house is under elf surveillance. Very cute if you do elf on the shelf. That one's more modern. It says the most wonderful time of the year. And then this one has an elf on it. It says have your elf, <laughs> elf a merry little Christmas. <laughs> Very adorable. And then I got this Merry Christmas sign. It's kind of puffy. Um, it's like a puffy sticker. And then I found this pack of coasters. They're just four wooden coasters. And here is what they look like outside of the pack. This one has the plaid background and snowflake. This one has the reindeer in the plaid. It says Merry Christmas. This one says peace, joy, and love. And um, kind of the tan burlap background. And then this one says Noel with a wreath. And then, like I said, I was kind of going with the believe theme as well for this haul so I found these two round tins very cute I got a large size and a smaller size and then this hanging um, door hanger with the jingle bells and the plaid and then the burlap on the sides and then two of these red glitter rose stems as well Okay, I'm going to take a breath. Okay, so then, this is definitely not a Christmas item, but I fell in love with this lantern. It was $1.99, and I thought, absolutely, can you do, like, rustic Christmas DIY with that? And then this Believe Unfinished Wood sign goes with the whole theme. And also, I found two of these gift boxes. This one says Merry and Bright, and it has the reindeer plaid. This one also says Merry and Bright with a snowman. And of course, if I'm doing this red theme, my regular brown stockings weren't going to work. So I got um, some of these uh, Santa belt kind of stockings. And I thought those were just so cute with the white top. These um, just say Joy, Peace, and Noel. And they have the burlap background and the plaid. Those are pretty just for home decor signs. And then check out how cool these placemats are. These are like a snowman kind of body with the little gloves and it, at the top it does have the plaid pattern but look at you can stick utensils or a folded up napkin in these and they're just adorable so I got four of those and then I got this chalk sticker it says all I want for Christmas and then you can write
right in with the chalk and then it says um i've been very good this year at the bottom so i thought that was very humorous and cute and then um oh more chargers so i got these red ones that have the um candy cane in the center and it has kind of a really cool texture on the outer side and then this burlap gift bag had a really cute Santa print on it. And you can see you can um, squeeze it together at the top, but it's a very nice size. And I thought he was so cute. And then more gift bags. I got this plaid reindeer gift bag. And then I found this wreath gift bag with the kind of whitewash background. And the red holly has a little bit of glitter um, going on as well. But this would be so cute, even framed as just a Christmas decoration. And then the tag is round and matches the same wreath. This is like a chalkboard kind of print gift bag. It says Christmas wishes. And um, just very beautiful as well. This one is a little bit of a metallic finish. This is a brown, kind of like your regular brown bag, but it says Merry Christmas. And this says um, with glitter writing, and it has the truck there in the snow. And this one is like the metallic writing, and it has the car with the tree sticking out, and it says Seasons Greetings. And I like that these have like that plain um, bag background. So I thought those could be cute framed. This one says Merry and Bright. This one has the deer in the center, and I want to cut the deer out and use the um, um, use that for a DIY. And then moving on to the end of this haul, I found this uh, gift bag that says Merry Christmas for wine. It has a little wine bottle gift tag. This one says no L and it has the round gift tag to match the round deer. And then this one says ho 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 and the O's are ornaments. So that is everything in this haul. I know it's huge. Um, I would love to get some crafts done for you guys this weekend. I also picked up a ton of stuff for like a white winter wonderland Christmas theme. If you guys want to see that haul, please let me know and I will film that. Um, but once again, I have missed you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!